We launched the new uh, EMD notebook platform called Puma, and we hit back to school uh, with multiple SKUs. Here's just one of them. This is um, a DV5 from HP, has a Blu-ray player in it, an AMD Turian Ultra at 2.1 gigahertz, uh, ATI Radeon uh, integrated graphics. And what we're playing here is doing a comparison to the Centrino 2 Monovena system running Blu-ray. As you can see, there's a pretty big difference between the quality of the video. You have very crystal clear video over here, and uh, every frame, every other frame or so, you're seeing a skip. Sometimes every fourth frame. Uh, right here, we're showing uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. And you know, don't take my word for it. Uh, I think on Thursday there was a blog talking about the G45 uh, chipset and, and the challenges that uh, our competitor is having with that. And this is exactly what we've uh, been talking about for the last uh, nine months about Puma. And quite frankly, uh, when it comes to what people care about, they care about high definition video on the consumer platform, and they also care about gaming. Because gaming over the last five years has gone from a kind of a, a niche application with the enthusiasts that we, who we love uh, to genres that are very wide. Because the most popular game out there on the PC is The Sims. And um, what you have as well as movie titles like, uh, like Iron Man, where you may not necessarily be a gamer, uh, but you like to play games. Let's say you like the movie Iron Man and you wanted to go and play it. And what we wanted to do is show you an experiential difference between the AMD Puma platform and the Centrino 2 Monovina platform. And, uh, and that's comparing two integrated graphic systems. I exactly. One from Intel, one from AMD. Exactly, and the Puma platform has a 780G integrated graphics, and the Intel has the G45 uh, graphics. And uh, okay. let's, let's take a look at it. So this is the, uh, the introduction to uh, the scene here. And this is being rendered, and as you can see, and if you've seen the movie, it starts in a cave, and Iron Man's going to fight his way out and uh, go back to the United States. Um, but essentially, you can see uh, the shadows are as they should be. Uh, the textures on the ceiling are exactly as they should be, so that the uh, triangles are being drawn, the vertices are being drawn accurately, as well as the diffused uh, shadows. Now, uh, on the other machine, uh, the Intel machine, the Centrino 2, um, on a Vena machine, you can see that it's actually not drawing in the triangles or uh, layering in the textures. And this is definitely not as the artist uh, had, had expected. You can actually see through Iron Man uh, here. And as it uh, moves around and you get a good look at both places in the game, at the exact same place, there is a dramatic difference between this. So over here, you have uh, the, vert uh, the uh, vertices being drawn and the textures being drawn in an accurate way. Over here, uh, it's either a bandwidth issue or it's just not filling in of the textures. Uh, check out the shadows here, where this is kind of in an off, on or off method, as compared to a diffuse shadow or a gradient shadow. And it's, you know, all in all, a completely different uh, experience. And one of the challenges with notebooks is you can't upgrade the graphics. And that's why the graphics and the video subsystems on, on notebooks is so vital to get the first time. And, you know, we made a huge bet two years ago on the fact that uh, HD video and the playback and games would be, uh, would be exceptional. So and we, think it's, uh, we think it's paying off.